In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to add additional edges on each side of geometry on each side of the selected edge without destroying your geometry so it can help you to add more edges and more faces for detailing. So for example, I have this door and I have a window where I want to create additional edges so I can have a border around it, a little frame. Now normally most people would think that uh, if you use a multi-cut, select the mesh, hold control, and you should be able to insert additional edges but the way this geometry was created so you can see that if I insert an edge here it's not going to be equal distance from each other from the opening of the frame and if you try to use multi-cut any other way you can see that it's just not going to work you're not going to create those additional edges all around to create that frame it's a very common issue but there's an easy solution and that is to use bevel so I'm going to switch over to edge component mode and I'm going to select by double clicking on this edge. It happens to select all continuous edges all around. And I can also do the same thing for the other side. Hold shift double click to select all the edges on the other side as well. So this way I can have a frame or border on both sides. And now you just bevel. You select a set of edges and you press control B to bevel. You can also go to edit mesh and choose bevel here. Once you bevel is going to start rounding the corners out, but that's not what we want. We want an edge on each side. And all you have to do is once you run bevel is turn chamfer off right here. Just set it to off. As soon as you do, you will retain your geometry while adding an extra edge equal distance from the selected edge on each side. And if you need extra edges, just add more segments. And if you need more distance for each of these edges, increase the fraction. And you can see now I have extra edges for a border that I can use. I'm going to set the segments back down to two. And now I have the extra geometry that I can select the face and maybe extrude, add some thickness. And now I have a border that's equal on all sides. And in this case, I also have a set of faces or a set of edges right here on the center. So I could also do the same thing if I needed an extra border on the inside. I add in some thickness. And if you have too many of those edges, you can just simply switch over to edge, select the extra edges you do not need and press control delete to delete it and clean up your geometry. Uh, another way you can do so is uh, for example, cylinders. So for example, once you create a cylinder, you have options right here under subdivision caps to add additional edges at the top of the cylinder. But oftentimes you don't know if you need it or not until you get to the modeling stage and you just simply do not have access to this channel simply anymore. You deleted history on it and you've just modeled more detail. So let me delete history on this. So how do you add an extra edge right here at the top where all the verts meet? You're not going to be able to do so with a simple multi-cut by holding down control. It's just not going to add that continuous edge. It can do so right here, but at the top it's not going to happen. So you can use the same trick. Select the edges right here at the top on the corner. Double clicking will select an entire continuous edge ring. Press Ctrl B to bevel and disable chamfer. And now you have an edge at the top. Of course, you have an edge on the side. If you do not need this one right here, Ctrl Delete to remove it. And for this edge, you now have ability to scale this. Select the extra faces that you have, for example, on the center or maybe on the outside. And now you have extra geometry that you could possibly extrude and add more detail for the area that previously had no edges or no faces that you could easily do so with. And the very last example I want to show you is back on the door uh, and small little area right here. Let's say you need extra geometry, extra edges to be added on, on a very specific part of geometry that does not contain continuous edges or continuous ring of edges. So let's just say, for example, here is a set of edges right here on the inside I have, and I want to have extra geometry here and doing so with a multi-cut again, uh, it's just not going to give me the result that I want. It's not going to be equal distance from the edge like so. It will be so here on the cylindrical part, but not on the other side. So what I can do is select a set of edges where I want to insert an extra edge and then use the same trick. Control B to bevel, turn chamfer off. And now I have an edge equal distance from the selected edge on each side. I can increase the fraction. I can increase the segments. Now it's not going to push the fraction further than whatever the distance is here at the very top, but this will vary depending on the selected edges you have and where they end. But now I have a set of edges that I could do something with. Let's increase that extra segment. And now I could maybe select all the way down and then maybe let's say extrude and maybe push them in. So just as an example. So this would be incredibly difficult to do manually, but with a bevel and chamfer off, becomes very easy to add those extra edges and extra faces to add more detail into your geometry to do something with. And very last thing, 
If you do this to a selected set of edges instead of a continuous edge loop or edge ring, you will have to do some cleanup like here at the very top. You can see that it kind of broke away and created extra triangles that you do not want. So you will have to fix by selecting those vertices and merging them somewhere and terminating them so you don't have ungons and just kind of unclean geometry here. And for that you can use target weld. And just clean this geometry up a lot more. Now if you want more techniques, tips, advice and entire workflow on how to learn Maya completely from scratch and everything you need to know to begin modeling and UVing with Maya, I have a complete tutorial course, Maya Foundation, the home study course. And it will show you everything you need to get started as well as how to model and UV your 3D meshes. Take a look at the course, it's available right now and I will see you in there.